and it's pedal to the metal. Our goal is to remove everything we can from this truck. Modern technology. This is the uh, original prototype of the iPod. Take me to your leader. Some hardware store completely sold out of aquamarine spray paint in about 1962. I need muscles. I'm finding all this old paperwork. Digging through the truck, we find gas receipts and tool guides from the 50s. This is always an amazing day to watch it come apart like this. Like reverse engineering of the truck. How you doing? That seems to be the weirdest part of this deconstruction is that the gas tank was absolutely topped off. Where were they going? Filthy. Of course. <laughs> oh, it didn't even come off. Despite its age and Chris's antics, <laughs> the truck comes apart fairly easily. You know, I have to say, I think we've been pretty lucky. All of the nuts and bolts have been pretty loose. I haven't run into one that I haven't been able to get out just by hand. Usually you have to drill and, uh, you know, persuade nuts and bolts to get out. It's always the last bolt. The last bolt is always the last bolt. It's always in the last place you look. There we go. I think Chuck Zan probably blew the doors off of quite a few trucks. But we just blew the doors off this one. Got it. I think this is the whole Cadillac front clip. It may or may not potentially be an issue, depending upon how well their fab work was. The truck frame here, and this ended, I don't believe that stock. Something different. Our deconstruction has revealed a rough and old frame mod that might not be repairable. I have a feeling we're gonna need a new frame. This is not great news because the modifications on the original frame won't work with the suspension upgrades that we have planned. Hopefully, the body is in better shape. What happens now? Dear overhauling viewer, you know what we do. Take the cab, the bed, the fenders, the whole smorgasbord over to Media Blast. For those of you who don't know, Media Blast combines various abrasives and compressed air to remove paint and corrosion on the body. And then we find out how much work we really got. 